cases where your car is getting older and the door check needs to be replaced. It's not holding the door open anymore. Letting it go. Doesn't hold. Versus, here's our front door. See, holds itself, right? That can be dangerous for, you know, if you are getting things in and out of your car, you might have the door slam on you or you walk in it as it's closing or if the wind's blowing, it might blow the door and damage it. So you want a proper door check, one that's working. So we're going to replace this one. So this is a very quick fix. You can try and access it first before you go and buy the part or before you bring it into the mechanic because if it's this easy, you might want to just do it yourself. Fracking Creations, showing you the good stuff on DIY car repairs. Check out our other videos for more great content. You might need somebody to help you hold the door open so that it doesn't close on you. You have to be very careful because without the door check, it's very quick. The door can close on you. You don't want to have your finger caught as the door closes on it. And you want to make sure that you're able to line everything up and have the door open without it closing on you. So just be careful with that. In some cases, the door check can only be replaced if you take off the panel, the whole panel here, so that you can undo the door check and then pull it out from inside the door frame. But in some cases, it might be easier and a very quick one if you have a speaker and all you need to do is take the speaker panel off carefully. And that gives you access to the speaker in here. Once you take the speaker out, you should have access to that door check. This one has four screws that we need to take out. And just be careful not to let the speaker fall out. Ooh, watch out for the speaker. And then slowly remove it. In some cases, the speaker, when it was installed, it was a it was stuck to this plastic sheet here. You might have to carefully pull it out, make sure not to damage the speaker itself. So you kind of have to slowly work it loose. And see it's still attached here. Just want to carefully detach it. You don't want to damage this sheet as well. And you should be able to take this clip out so that you can have access to inside the door there. Just carefully see where it clips on. In this case, it's a little hard for my fingernails to get, so I'm going to use this bit and just push it out. There you go. Okay, so it's a bit greasy, so we need to wipe it off so that we don't dirty the car as we take this off. Okay, that should be good enough. And we're going to use a 10 millimeter socket. It might be different for you. So we detach the one from the frame first, and then we're going to take the ones off from the door. Remember which one goes where so that you don't mix them up. You can reach in your hand to grab hold of the door check so that it doesn't fall out. So that's the door check right there. See how easy it is to access? I'm going to grab hold of it from the inside so that it doesn't drop. Make sure none of the, the washers from here fall out too, you'll need them. Okay, so we're pulling the door check out. See, so easy. So we got a genuine part here from the dealership. This is what the new one looks like. So this is the old one? Yeah, and then the new one here. You might have to turn it sideways to get it in first, then you can turn it back. Because the hole may not allow it to come in normally. So kind of adjust it as you need. And we're going to first attach it to the door. Don't tighten it until all of them are in so that you can make sure that they fit nicely before you tighten any particular one screw. So it's just hand tight, you can still move it. Now that this is attached to the door, we're going to attach this to the frame. And slowly tighten everything together. Don't over tighten. We 
you don't want to strip the thread so don't over tighten it. Alright, so that's done. Everything's in place. Let's see if it holds the door open. You actually can hold the door like this and like this. We're going to clip the speaker in. It's ready. So we slowly slide it in in place and then we we'll screw everything back in. So just do the opposite. Once the screws are hand tightened lightly and everything is in place and fitting properly, you can tighten all the screws. And then once that's done, you're done. Once you put the speaker cover back on, everything's done. Watch as we open this door now, see if it holds. Oh, it holds here. Holds right there. And then if we push it open, will it hold? Yes, it does. Even on an incline that we're on right now, it's holding. Nice, sweet, brand new door stops.